Hello. I received a phone call from a neighbour who said a rhino cow had been shot close to our northwest boundary. He said he'd collect me in a helicopter and we could investigate if a calf was involved. When we landed, we found that the cow had in fact been lactating and we found the calf within two kilometres of where the poaching incident happened. A miracle to find such a small animal in such a big part of Africa. The vet darted the baby rhino and we loaded it into the chopper. Um, she was brought in um, with the vet um, by her helicopter and we transferred her very quickly then um, to our unit here. Um, but she had to have fluid therapy and things like that because she'd gone at, quite, at least a 24 hour period of being on her own, unable to drink from her mother, um, being very stressed, running around, um, becoming dehydrated in the heat, um, and obviously not having milk, she's probably a little bit low on glucose. So all of that, the vet was Pete Rogers was replacing via drips, um, and then just gave her a quick examination over just to have an idea of how bad a condition she was in, which is really terrible. <laughs> she's very thin and emaciated. So then once all that was done, um, the vet was happy to wake her up. They become aware that they're not in the environment they should be um, and that they're not with their mother. And then there's strange people there trying to bond and talk to and get to drink. So, um, but, but myself and Jen basically stayed with her from the minute she came in um, and we just continuously spoke to her softly, tried to settle her, tried to offer her milk whenever she came forward. Um, and then it became dark and we um, quickly realised that that was not okay for her. So we had lights and things on. She became increasingly more stressed. She started pacing. She was calling for her mother, which is just horrific to listen to. Um, and she's going round and round, pacing back and forth. And then she spooked and she smashed into every wall. Um, so we had to call the vet. We had to call Pete back out. The only way we could stop her was to sedate her. So he had to dart her again to sedate her down. Um, and then we had to get in to see you know, what damage she'd done to herself. She wakes often when she does eventually go to sleep, crying and distressed and searching and calling for her mother. One chance, one goal. One heart, one soul. One path, one road, one way to share the load. One cause, one fight. No wrong, just right. One voice. It's now or never, just speak your mind I got to find a way to live the dream And never give up, it's better to believe Yeah, we gotta do it all together Dream. Stay true and stay free. Be strong and be kind. It's up to you. Don't change your mind. You got to find a way to live the dream. And never give up. It's better to. 